so welcome uh, to my presentation about the Austrian Federal uh, Education Portal. Um, so before I go into the details, um, maybe I tell you uh, some things about uh, the situation we had in Austria a few years ago. So um, maybe you have similar um, yeah, issues in your countries. We had an emerging educational technology sector with many applications uh, growing up for report books, class books, learning platforms, everything. And the schools um, were able to, to select the products they wanted to use, uh, but it was very hard for teachers, for students and also for parents when they had to use um, multiple um, tools for uh, various things and um, they did not have much transparency uh, and and uh, they wanted to get a tool where they have every information uh, at once. Uh, and this was uh, the, the base idea of uh, our education portal. So obviously it is not a learning platform and uh, that makes it different from maybe everything else you hear here at the Moodle Mood. Uh, and what we did uh, is the following. So uh, first of all, we implemented a single sign-on uh, that may be used by all other uh, applications as well. So we connect each other together. Um, and uh, we are also unifying uh, various authentication methods that already existed in Austria. Uh, so everybody, um, parents also, and students and teachers have one login for every application that joins the education portal. But more than that, um, every citizen, um, because it's um, more a, a, a e-government portal for citizens, so every citizen gets a, a personal dashboard showing the most important information regardless which applications uh, uh, respective schools are using. Um, and I will come to that later how that works. Uh, and then the most important core of the educational portal is our educational technologies hub because we had the situation that some of uh, those um, applications uh, started to make interfaces to exchange data, uh, but they decided on themselves who can share data with whom, uh, and it was not really under control, and they uh, also um, locked out um, other companies that they didn't want to join. So uh, as a ministry, we faced this situation and we thought it is problematic. So we also wanted uh, to make a means that gives us the control who is sharing data with whom. And this Educational Technologies Hub uh, says that every um, company that joins the education portal can share data, but uh, on the rules that we decide. So mainly um, we decide which interface can be used by the application and the school chooses which application they use. Uh, so there is um, more transparency and more control on that. Uh, and at last, we also implemented e-government services, which was uh, new to schools in Austria. For example, electronic signatures for uh, documents, for certificates and so on. And we're also implementing uh, a resilient archive for, certificate, for certificates, which means they are um, kept for 60 years digitally. Uh, and we also make a dual delivery system, which means that people can receive um, the official deliveries also digitally and with a fallback method uh, for physical delivery as well. Um, so when I show you um, yeah, the, the um, core software that we are using is Moodle, and I'll come to that later why we are using Moodle, and for the single sign-on we are using Shibboleth as well. So uh, it's more or less 100% uh, uh, open source software. Uh, this is an insight into the dashboard, how it would look like. Uh, so when somebody logs in, uh, you have uh, a section with the news from all schools that you are affiliated to. And then you have these widget areas. And as we know which applications the schools uses, uh, we can show them uh, the widgets uh, that are interesting for those people. So they have on one, um, in, uh, on one page uh, the timetable for the next day, what is uh, um, in the learning platform, which assignments they have to do, and so on. And in that case, I'm uh, a parent, and I can see my children. So these are test persons, as you see, it's Marie Curie. Uh, and I also have the brother Curie. Uh, and uh, as a parent, I also see everything that's interesting for my kids. Um, yeah. Um, with this uh, Educational Technologies Hub, we make partnership contracts, so we are also doing all contracts in regard of the GDPR. 
Uh, so when schools are using, uh, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, five minutes is so, uh, yeah, why we are using Moodle? Uh, because it's cool. So we have, uh, <laughs> well, give me just uh, a few seconds. <laughs> Uh, well, we have uh, about 20 years experience in Austria in using Moodle. Uh, so we also as a ministry, we had the experience in how to maintain Moodle, how to develop our own things in Moodle. We have our network with Moodle partners and other developers. Uh, and so we knew that this is very flexible as a software and uh, we also used it for uh, this education portal. Um, and I will not uh, name all the figures. You can check the presentation yourself, but it's a big thing in Austria. It it will cover more than a third of our population at the end. So thank you very much for your attention. And, uh okay, so hello to all. Uh, we are Julia and my name is Sandra. We are high school teachers and are also supporting the central Moodle of Austria, eduvidual.at. And before we go on, I have one question. Are there any other school teachers in here? Oh, great. <laughs> um, so, uh, as we have the opportunity to, um, uh, of two presenters, uh, we will change things um, around a bit and five minutes are not enough to tell you about all the cool stuff we have in the Austrian Moodle. Uh, so, we decided to do a best of. So, enjoy. Hello, Sandra. Long time to see. Hi, Julia. Uh, nice to see you again. Um, are you using Moodle in your teaching? Of course I am, but I switched to a better Moodle. Um, I'm using the Austrian government-supported Moodle now. Uh, government-supported? Uh, who is actually using it? Oh. And everything is so bureaucratic in Austria. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a lot of schools are using it. Um, some schools joined over the last four years and you see how the map is growing. Um, the cool thing about the Austrian Moodle is that um, you still have your own space and privacy as a school, but uh, everybody can still work together. Okay, uh, but I don't want to share all my school data with the other schools. Uh, well, the world is gray. Um, you have your own space and only see your schools and the data of your own school, but we as an admin, we see all the schools uh, that are actually in the platform and uh, you can only, everybody can only access the data of your own school, but um, still everybody is using the same platform and can share resources across the platform. So that's my next question. How can you work together? Either you are separated or not? Um, well, as everybody is using the same platform, you can enroll in the courses across the platform. Yeah. So, um, sorry. sorry. A user, a teacher can give you an enrollment code and you can enroll into his or her course, regardless if you're in the same school or not. You can access the course only. You can't access any data um, apart from your school, but you can still access the course. On this example, um, this, this person, user, is enrolled into five schools. Um, not, in, in, not enrolled into five schools, but in, enrolled into five courses of five different schools, but belonging only to one school. So you can still access the courses if you get an enrollment code, but you can't uh, know which other courses this school provides. Um, okay, that looks nice, but uh, you know my subjects. I have almost no nobody who would like to share uh, and to invite me, so I cannot benefit from the uh, other people's resources. Yeah, um, you can. I stay with my own Moodle. No, you can still benefit from other people's resources. We have the resource library for that. So um, everybody can um, publish their own courses as an open educational resource. Everybody can access them. Um, so make it available to the whole platform and uh, use and share um, all the resources between each other and between schools. Um, we also have a big question bank um, which is also the, on the system level so that um, the teachers can access the questions that are made available on the system level and use them 
and um, share them with their students and also share their own questions with um, the quality management team so that they might get published within the uh, on the system level and um, if I don't want to share on system level I still have the possibility to show only within my uh, to share only within my school so that's really cool oh that sounds really cool uh, I think I will give it a try but is it very complicated to set up oh no you just have to enroll your school and everything is set up for you the only thing you need to worry about is user management so you need to tell which users are in your school and that's it okay thank you hope to see you soon you too All right, we've got about three minutes or so for some questions. If anyone has some, uh, Barbara, and I'll switch it up. Hi, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the presentation. I just had one question, which it's more of a clarification. Uh, is it so that if an individual has an enrollment code, they can get into, say, five courses from five different schools or of the same school? Or is it both? Um, actually, you can you can access the course with the enrollment code. So each course has its own enrollment code, and you can get only into this one course. But it is regardless of which school you're in. You just need to be a user of the platform. Okay. And uh, these enrollment codes, um, say if I'm not a part of any school, how do I get these codes? From the teacher. So the okay. teacher is inviting you with the enrollment code to share the course. Okay, okay, got it. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, how did you manage to make the separation between schools so as each school has <laughs> their own space? Uh, pardon? How did you manage to separate each school so oh, okay. each school has their own space? Did you develop something? Did you use a ready-made solution? Yes, in, uh, in case of EduVidual, I was uh, head of uh, the learning platform for the last five years and uh, I developed a, core, a plugin, a local plugin uh, that does the separation. Uh, in the time we, we started development, there was not the capability uh, to um, uh, to block the access to a certain course category, uh, so the plugin did test as well. Um, in the meanwhile, uh, there is this capability, so you could also uh, make the separation with the Moodle core capabilities. But uh, the, um, the plugin does many things beyond. So uh, the schools get a reduced interface for the user management, for example, uh, because uh, as uh, my colleague told you, uh, the schools have to do the user management on their own. Uh, and um, we don't give them access uh, to, the, to the Moodle administration. Uh, so they have uh, their own management interface for doing so. OK, thanks. You're welcome. That's us. OK. okay.